Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. It is a post-birthday Friday, a free reading Friday, with my lovely co-host, the lady with the lustrous hair from Hayden, Idaho, Jennifer Fala. During Jen Jen, how was uh, your Mike Barrett day yesterday? Uh, it was Mike Barrett day in Australia on the 26th, and it was my birthday. How you doing? Oh, it's busy, busy, and filled with lots of drama, you know young young adult children i'm thinking about calling the cbd gurus and asking what they have with thc in it but i'm not there yet so but Brett, I got, you know i, I got glad that you... i can <laughs> ship it to you 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 ask me do you figure you identify what you need to calm you down a little bit and I'll, I'll hit you with it. i'm thinking right. about it i'm thinking of upgrading the uh, the uh, gummies anyway you should plus you'll get a little bit more boulevard out of right. It. So it's, it's <laughs> well, I'll be having a lot boulevard coming my way if I talk to them. All right. right uh, and you know, we don't know. The boulevard boulevard can end up being worth more than the Zim. We don't know. I think cool. the Zim is worth more, but we don't know. Um, so <laughs> Jen and I were a little late. We we're actually discussing relationships. It's pretty interesting stuff. And maybe someday we'll have to like do a live Toxically Masculine Tuesday together when you have you know time off. And we can just sort of discuss all the things we were talking about in the back room. All right, Jen, uh, let's get to the, what little news there is. I don't really think there's uh, any updates, I wouldn't think, except that I would say that according to all the gurus out there, the financial gurus, we're pretty much right on track for Gabriel's prediction of the 29th, which is Sunday, being a big, important day, at least as of right now, unless... You know, unless suddenly NATO invades Russia uh, to screw everything up, I think we're on track for Gabe's prediction of Sunday the 29th being a very interesting day. Let's pray that in. What do you, what say you? Have you been following all the developments? Uh, just here and there, I've been so slammed. Yeah. But um, I just still happening. He said it's happening. So as of it's ha as of this moment in time everything's cool all right everything's cool all right um so then there's one other thing excuse me i'm chewing ice uh by the way it's a manchester city friday they're gonna play arsene hole today not arsenal arsene hole um in the fa cup so uh, let's go city that's why i'm wearing my manchester city kit my erling holland gear arsenal of course is led by is led by their their most popular younger player Bukaki Saka. So uh, if we I, that's not really his name, but it looks like Bukaki Bukayu, you know, something like that. So I like to call him Bukaki Saka because I live in a relatively free country where I still have free speech. By the way, did you see the Paul Pelosi video yet? No. Jen, have you, no okay. Well, while you're talking about something else, I'm going to try to pull that up. Um, the hammer video. Oh, it's wow! I got to show that to you later. But before we get there, I'm going to turn the chat overlay off. Uh, before we get there, Jen, we need to look at this latest thing. This is the Damar Hamlin thing. And the, the narrative won't quit. I mean, you had guys in the NFL media, like Pro Football Talks, Mike Florio, you know, mocking, oh, Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs quarterback, stepped off a platform and he wasn't limping. So, oh, it's a fake Patrick Mahomes. It must be a body double, right? So the NFL... And the NFL media, which walks in lockstep with the NFL, is trying really hard to make this whole DeMar Hamlin thing seem normal. But remember, in this super awesome book in 2010, Mike Barra uh, created, uh, wrote you a book called The Choice. And in that, I said, when we get to the end, everything that they do, the establishment, will blow up in their faces it will turn out wrong it will be the wrong thing they will make the wrong move over and over and over again so yesterday on nfl network a guy named kyle brandt who's a talentless hack and not even a not even a football guy his dad used to work for the packers or something he's a bad actor who who lost out on on the remake the reboot of uh what, what's the show with the car kit the david hat david hasselhoff show night rider. Night, rider. night rider yeah he he came in second for the part of the, the, <laughs> the david hasselhoff part in night rider now he does nfl network had josh allen the star quarterback of the buffalo bills on and his 
he was going to just move real quickly and try to squash all these DeMar Hamlin rumors. Watch what happened. Okay. So you, you, you don't think that you were duped by fake DeMar in the locker room when you saw him? Let's just get that out there. I don't think so. If it is, who knows? But that's my guess. Why are you suggesting one, there's maybe a chance it was? <laughs> so let's watch that again and listen very carefully to Josh Allen's response. Okay. So you, you, you don't think that you were duped by fake DeMar in the locker room when you saw him? Let's just get that out there. I don't think so. If it is, who knows? But that's my guess. Why are you suggesting there's maybe a chance it was? So it absolutely blew up in his face. I don't think so. you were. He said, "If you could, I know the audio is hard to hear." He said, "So you don't think you were duped by a fake Demar in the locker room?" And he goes, "I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so." The pause was, before the response was interesting. No, he said, "If it was, I couldn't tell." So the answer, what he's trying to do is squash this Demar Hamlin body double thing. But this shows you right there. The players aren't even sure it's the same guy. So, Jen, I think this is exciting. I think this is funny. Uh, I I love seeing Kyle Brandt get embarrassed like that. I, I think it feels like the narrative is beginning to blow up in their faces because more and more people are saying there's something wrong here. What do you think? What do you get? What do you get out of that? Do you get the Josh, and I can play it again, do you get the Josh Allen that isn't really sure or really doesn't think it was his teammate, DeMar Hamlin? Well, think about this. They, they put him in there in the clothes that he was wearing that we saw at the game. And everybody's, like, naked, getting dressed, okay? You look each other in the eye when they, you go in there. He probably went by and patted him on the back. Hey, dude, how you doing? You know, blah, 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 blah. And it, blah. So it doesn't mean, you know... It, it, they could have had an exchange. All you're seeing is this part of the guy. How do you know it's the same guy, right? Anyway, go ahead. Right. Sorry. I'm saying it's not. I don't think it is. I think that uh, there was a question in his mind because there was a pause before the answer, and then the answer yeah. itself. Why not just say no? No. Yeah, of course Why not, not. just That's say so that? Stupid. Why think right. about it? Right. And, and the thing, too, I, can, I hope that there's this lady named Body Language Ghost on uh, on YouTube. I, I can't wait for her to get a hold of this video. I hope she does a video on it. Uh, Josh, um, oh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. He put All him right. on the spot. He started smiling. I have a, I have a, a young adult male child like that. And when he's trying to hide something, they start smiling and they yeah, start laughing. Like, and He's like, what am I yeah. supposed to say here? Uh, what am I, I'm trying to remember uh, what I'm I don't to know. Say. Yeah, you yes, do. Yes, you do. Oh, I'm supposed to say. Right. Uh, because he doesn't, clearly does not think the guy that came to their locker room is DeMar Hamlin. Otherwise, he wouldn't have any doubt. So the fact, but he, so you can tell what's going on in his head, which is that he doesn't think it was DeMar Hamlin, but he knows he can't say that. And well, he knows, he knows that, that then breaks out all, all kinds of other questions in his mind about what's really going on. And he knows he can't say that. So then he kind of like, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, that's pretty interesting stuff. And uh, do you get any hint? Is is the is the fake Damar Hamlin thing, is it going to go somewhere? Is it going to blow up? Or is it just going to kind of stay here and remain, you know, oh, only crazy conspiracy theorists believe? Or is it going to break into the... They're gonna bury it. They're gonna stop talking about it. They're gonna start start talking about something else. Everything in his area is gonna be quiet. I don't think he'll They're be gonna... playing anytime soon. So it's they're gonna have quite a bit of time to cover that up. Yeah, they're gonna bury it. All right. Uh, in other news, <laughs> the Biden administration is sending thirty one tanks. Thirty one. Thirty one tanks. To uh, Ukraine, supposedly sending 31 tanks, 31 M1 Abrams tanks, which, you know, that tank is 20 or 30 years old. So who knows whether these tanks are even up to date or not. But let me just tell you something. Oh, uh, Tony S. just put an order on for my book, The Choice. It's a great book. Uh, you'll really enjoy it. But let me just tell you something. 31 tanks 
is barely a battalion. Okay, a battalion is not going to beat the Russian army, which has all kinds of anti-tank weapons. So if these suckers even make it to the front lines, they're going to be annihilated in about 15 minutes by the Ruskies, who have far greater strength. Uh, you know, and I'm, I, this is really more for Bl for Brooks tonight on the show because he's the real expert on what's going on, on militarily over there. But is this an attempt to escalate to World War III by Biden? And if it is, will it lead? Is this maybe the beginning of what's going to lead to him being removed? I do believe we'll see that kind of scenario as a last ditch effort to stop this this financial change. Yeah. Interesting enough, when you said 31, I heard 31st. And you know how they will put things in public announcements to alert the other side who's left? Right. Right. Maybe there's something important about the 31st. Okay, they're, somebody says they're making tanks to be delivered within 12 months. Well, let me tell you, in 12 months... I think that them. announcement was more about the date of the 31st you know i could be wrong you know what do i know okay. but that's what i got from that okay all right well i was just wondering if you thought maybe we were escalating towards something in the short um order because other rumors are floating around i think wolvie put out a rumor from somebody that he trusts because he's hearing biden is going to be gone phil's doing little celebrations on his videos is his uh, short videos that he's doing and putting on Telegram about how oh, I, when it's all over, I'm going to dance. And you see him dancing in his car and all this stuff. So there's a lot of implication that Biden might be gone this week. Do you get any sense that Biden will be removed from office publicly? Let's say in the next week. Anything from the angels about that? I think it's going to be longer than a week. But the process starts the scenario starts um when i got that by uh for or when he tries to start in a world war i mean that came through my whole body i mean that was just like yeah yeah boo, like i'm sticking with it it's coming i'm sticking okay. with it i could be wrong but i'm i'm sticking with it okay I do think they're um, setting up with everything that they do. They start uh, filtering. You know, they start telling everybody little bit by little bit what's going to happen and setting the scene. And I think they're setting the scene right now for that. And then I think there's going to be a big blow up. Not like explosion. Hopefully not. Um, then they have their excuse. Okay, guys, let's uh, get to the phones here in a second. I'd like to remind everybody, when you put your questions in, please include your real name and the real name of the person or pet that you may be asking about. Okay, that really, really, really does help. All right. Um, uh, just remember that these videos are taken down almost immediately after they are completed. These live streams off of the YouTube channel, but you can always find them at mikebarra.blogspot.com along with lots of other videos from other people like Simon Parks that we like to post occasionally and uh, lots of other cool articles, links to my Vincent Fusca video on Odyssey, links to my books, links to various articles I've created over the years. I don't do much in the way of articles anymore because, well, you know, I just don't have time to write. So, um, also, do not forget, you can go over to Rumble, open up a Rumble account and subscribe to the channel Real News Live, up to 2,600 subscribers. Yay, we're on a roll. Um, and uh, follow us directly on Rumble because that's where MikeBarrett.blogspot.com usually links to. Also, please do not forget to visit our wonderful sponsors, the CBD Gurus, Matt and Lucas. They were on with Mark Z this morning. If you want to rewatch the Mark Z show, where you can get all kinds of cool health products for your cool products for your health. And if you go to the wholesale tab, the third tab over, click on wholesale, click on Mike B Wholesale. That's me, Mike B Wholesale. Click on Mike B Wholesale. That's me. And you will get this week's discounts on all kinds of cool stuff like the immunity formula, the, um, wow, lotion 2000. I do not know what that is. 
uh, water soluble 50 milligram Delta 9 DHC, the dark chocolate stuff, the gummies, the immunity caplets or capsules, uh, the Delta 8s, the brainwave support. I like that. I got to try the brain support and the weight loss support, which is a great thing to combine with Jen's weight loss readings or weight loss. Um, what would you call them, Jen? They're not readings. They're weight, they're weight loss. Um, how did I lose Jen? There's Jen. Jen, I'm sorry. I lost you. Um, uh, I don't Jen, know what happened. <laughs> what would you call your, what would you call your weight loss treatments? They're not readings. They're weight loss. Healings. Uh, viewings. And combine healings. that with this. Healings. Weight loss healings. And uh, combine that with the weight loss support capsules from CBD Gurus and see what happens. And you get cool stuff like the pet oil and the miracle gold I'm using for my dizziness, the CBD pills. All kinds of cool stuff under the Mike Barra discount, the Mike B discount, which is lowercase discount code, all lowercase, no capital A, no S at the end. It's A-L-I-E-N, alien, A-L-I-E-N, all lowercase. I'm going to say that for the 9,000th time. And for orders, um, every order for $25 or more, you get a million Bolivar and that goes up. If it's $75, you get $3 million. If it's $100, you get $4 million. The guy will send you Bolivar. So it's a great way to not only get something cool for your health, but also pick up some Bolivar on the side just in case it goes to the moon. All right, Jen, Jen, what's going on over at jenniferfalot.com? Are you there? No, she's frozen. Fuck. There you are. You back? We have a storm here. It's snowing really hard. I don't know if that's it or if I'm just targeted. Anyway, um, this I don't have All any right, connection problems to... any, any other time of the day. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about what's on JenniferFalla.com right now. Okay. I still am accepting a couple more. No, shoot. Shoot. Did we lose you? I'm froze. Jen froze again. Dang it. Come back to us, Jen. Come back to us. We're just going to wait for Jen. Let's do some basic comments while we're waiting for Jen. I was eight years old when Sputnik was launched. That is cool. Jerry Ann, here we go. Yeah, sorry about the connection problems. Is it just me or is everyone around us? Our dropping? students for the psychic. Oh. Okay, we lost. Okay, you. now you're back. Just go there and look at what I got. <laughs> just for All right. Cuts me out again. Anyway, I'm taking a couple more students for the private coaching sessions. This is a very cheap price. You get all of my classes, nine of them, psychic development and interdimensional meditation, along with this combo and four one-hour coaching sessions that you can um, schedule monthly or biweekly. Um, also, we have lots of things going on over there. Go and get a deal. Anyway, I just one other thing I wanted to say is that we're going to be giving away healings today on the show because everybody donated to... Uh, I told everybody, if you donate $100, I will send you all nine of my classes. That is a huge, huge discount. Then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to, they're donating so that people can get free healings on free reading Friday. And we have quite a few to give away today. Um, so other than that, go to jenniferfuller.com, support the effort. If you go and make a $100 donation, Email me afterwards so I have the correct email. I will send you all of my classes. That is six interdimensional meditation classes. The last one is remote viewing and three psychic development classes. Okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we are also uh, going to give away to some of the ladies out there this medium sized of course, their real t-shirt shirt that I had made for my co-star on Uncovering Aliens, Maureen, and she Classic. never got it. So yeah. she never got it. Yeah, well, you know, actually, we're going to do the, um, 
I'm going to be in uh, Roswell in March, and we're going to be doing a special uh, festival there in March 10th, 11th, and 12th. You should come. Everybody would be loads of fun. The, it's spring break, and for all the college towns around there, everybody comes and invades Roswell for spring break. So it's going to be really cool, and I'm going to try to convince Tom that we should print up a bunch of these T-shirts because I bet we could sell a lot of them to those college When girls. is that? When is that in March? March 10th. 11th and 12th in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, that'll work out good because that'll be about a week or two before we go to Vegas. Yes, yes, yes. We could go there first. All right. For so the that was, beers. That was uh, that was uh, too bad. All right. Um, well, let's just go to the phone. Stephen Leister's here. Hi, Stephen. How are you? Um, oh, also, by the way, I've been getting some love. I, sorry, guys. I was going to I forget. I always forget to mention uh, my love button. Where is it? Yeah, you can also send me some love. It's cash app dollar sign M-B-A-R-A-3-3 and Zell M-B-A-R-A-3-3 at M-S-N dot com. Thank you very much. Some people have been contributing. I'm going to try to get that list off my phone in a minute. When Jen's talking, I'll pull it up. Also, I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody over on Facebook who I'm Facebook friends with. Let me pull this up. Um, I had a, a special birthday thing for my fundraiser for my birthday. Jen, let me share this real quick. And... Um, uh it was really really cute because i had a 200 dollars fundraiser for um that i wanted to do for old dog haven and guess what there it is old dog haven 200 dollars raised out of 200 dollars um eight people donated melissa magellanis like say thank you to melissa magellanis and a bunch of other people who uh contributed to it as well marlena marlena reynolds mark haywood my former roommate when i was 21 our own angie lincoln dasner bob clay terry woodell kevin strupp sonia lakes melissa Mahalana, sylvia lugo sylvia i love you i love you and eddie i hope eddie's great and todd schwark all donated enough money to meet my old dog haven Awesome. birthday fundraiser so don't let anybody tell you that good things don't happen on this planet because they do mm. so cash app they do cash app dollar sign mbara 33 and zell mbara 33 at msn and i will get to um when jen's going off on one of her long answers i'll uh i'll read off the people that have contributed yeah you know i rattle on so well uh, oh, there's a couple. Wesley Gable. <laughs> thank you, Wesley, very much. Mary Ferranti. Thank you very, very much. There's there's a couple of them. So I uh, love you guys. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Joanne Patton. Wow. Is the format different? Format's different today. Yeah, it's weird. Bob's caregiver, yeah. Linda, was in the hospital Monday with high blood pressure. And her left side was numb. They said not a stroke. Jen, can you see what's going on, please? Barb, caregiver, Linda. Linda in the hospital Monday with high blood pressure and her left side was numb. They're saying it was not a stroke. They can see those things. They would be able to see it in a scan if it was a stroke. So she really she's got hypertension. She really needs to um she's coming up at the time where it's it's a problem. She really needs to address the issue. Um, is she stressed? Did she have like a stress reaction or something? Warning sign? It was kind of an almost, hey, you got to get seen. You're going to, it was kind of a warning sign for her. Yeah, you're going to almost ha have a heart attack. Okay. We got to get this blood pressure under control. Okay. Uh, okay. Cam says hello, everyone. Christine Packer says hello. Yeah, I must have changed something in the formatting without realizing it, Jen. We'll just live with it for today. Um, Deborah Pollard, I'm sorry to hear that you lost a friend. I didn't really, apparently, you were discussing stuff before the show. I didn't catch on the chat what happened, but uh, our prayers are with you and your friend, Deb. Tony S says uh, hello. Good morning. Hello. Uh, good to be here. Good to have you. Money Love is here. Mary Elena's here. Uh, yeah, it's flip flop. It's like the 
it's like the message is on top and the person is on the bottom. I kind of so. like it because it's big writing and I can see it. So I'm still yeah. Okay, okay, we'll keep it this way then. Yeah. Uh, put something in your coffee, Jen. I don't Thinking know about it. Uh, then I Jen's wouldn't be psychic, is, so. Jen's yeah. hair is so pretty and exquisite. Oh, that reminds me. Thank you, I watched it. Jen, you claim to be a psychic, Jen, so let's put that to the test. Let's absolutely put that to the test as to whether or not Jen is really psychic. We're about to find out. Jen, I want you to tell me, uh, I want you to tell me which one I am. Oh, I think we've lost Jen again. No, I'm looking. <laughs> Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Okay. I don't know. They're both Dave. No, I think Dave's got his mouth open bigger. Okay, right or left? Which one am I, right or left? Right. <laughs> That's Dave. Fuck, <laughs> really? God! That's like when yeah, somebody says, are I, you going to... I'm on the right. I have a slightly rounder head. Dave's got a head shape like a slope, like a wedge, like a big... Trunk. Well, it makes sense because you're more vocal than Dave at the mouth. Well, yeah. And I mean, I have the bigger smile. I'm happier. I'm just basically... I, I We're pretty... Well, you know, look, the truth is we could be wrong, but we're pretty positive I'm the one on the left and Dave's the one on the right. So let's go back to your hair being pretty and exquisite. Well, Robert, uh, Robert Zem is here. Working that wrench, hopefully. Well, I guess hopefully. I'm not psychic then. You know, I just <laughs> want to say, really, say thank you to Robert and thank you to um, Robert Zem and thank you to Ron Davidoff for being such great um, uh, moderators on the two YouTube channels. We've had a lot less trouble since then. I haven't had to do anything. I really appreciate yeah. it. And if other people want to moderate too, Laura, somebody like that, I'd be happy to have you. I appreciate it. I trust you guys. You guys have done a great job. Uh, Sandy says, hi, Mike and uh, Jen. Mark Z hinted in this morning's podcast that we may go before next weekend. Does that mean this weekend? Next weekend usually means a week from now, next weekend. So uh, that's what I think. That would line up with what Jen got. Jen, you got any comments on that beyond what we've already talked about? When we may go when I'm asking the angels be more specific about that part of it, like when we get notifications or when a rocket's a raid or what? Well, um, there is, there is a rumor. Um, I guess we can ask you, we can ask the angels about this, uh, Jen, there, there is a rumor, Nate, this guy, Nader from the middle East is saying that Iraq has decided what their rate is. He doesn't know what it is or when they're going to announce it, but he says, they have decided what their rate is. is. Is that true? Months they have ago. Decided. Months ago. So we know we know what it is. Uh, does anybody want to see the Paul Pelosi tape? Yeah, let's do that. All right. All right. Wait a minute. Is it is it like nasty or anything? Like, uh, well, you know, is it a real tape? Oh, it's the real police body. Body cam footage. Shut Let's up. It. Let's watch it. Can you see it? Can you guys no. see it? Yes, yes, yes. This is their house. Now, who's that guy with the phone? It's not their house. Are you kidding me? Oh, man, good. All right, drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, hey, hey. what is going on? Here? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, just say no to crack. <laughs> Ever for the Everson back up country. Give me your fucking hand. Give me your fucking hand. Give 
Okay. Well, that's pretty much yeah, it. <laughs> Tamar time. What do you think about that, Jen? My first thought was, that's not Pelosi's house. Um, yeah. Because you turn around, you see a street light. Pelosi's house is going to be up a driveway with a beautiful entry, and you're not going to have a street light right there. You're not going to have blue tape around the inside of the front windows. Yeah, I think um, it's his, it's probably his, uh, you know, gay lover's lair or something. He was somewhere else. That's not this house. Yep. So who broke the windows at their house? What about that part of it? I don't know. I don't, it don't know. fit, does it? Something's wrong. That, Something. okay, so he must have been found somewhere else. Somebody went over to his house, uh, broke the windows, Yep. Set up yeah. That scenario. Because remember the windows were broken from the outside. On the news. Or, or, uh, yeah. Yeah. This glass was on the outside. Doesn't match yeah. up to me. Yeah. They moved. They moved him because that was. Uh, that is that, not the quality was... of Pelosi's private residence. That when was you his open gay, that door. That was his gay lair thing. You open the door to Pelosi's private res residence, and I bet you anything. There's a huge foyer. Mm -hmm. There's, there's. A beautiful entryway. You're not going to turn around and see a street light where a park, a cop can park. Well, yeah, and there's car, there's other houses all around him. It's not like there's any sort. And of then if they, if security. if that was the whole incident where he hits him right there in front of the cops because he's like, you called the cops on me. Hits him with the hammer. Dude falls. Where is the the scene where he broke out the glass? Yeah, yeah, it didn't happen, did it? Is that they say he broke the glass to get in though. So, we'll so are they showing us the real scene? If that is indeed the real scene and the real Paul Pelosi, um, he didn't all act like a else. Paul Pelosi standing there opening the door to police like that. Um, so this is either a fake or the real scene. So let's let you know. We need to take a look at that video. Maybe freeze it. Maybe zoom into Paul Pelosi. See if the age matches the facial features. Whatever. But the, there's some there's some discrepancy here in between the two. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, put St. John's Ward in there. Yeah, St. John John's Ward is good for depression. I know that. I used to take that a long time. Ago. And I food. Like oh, that's Mark Spike Z. Spike their food. <laughs> I used to do that. I used to spike the kids' food with uh, vegetable girl. baby food because they wouldn't eat their vegetables. Uh, Why is the spaghetti sauce green? I don't know. Just eat it. It's, I have no idea. It's got some pesto in it, sweetie. I hate to pesto, <laughs> but my hopium is deflating. Stay, hang in there, Laura. Just just let it happen. Just let it happen. Things are really We don't close. need that, Laura. No. Yeah, take it away. Stick, stick that in your pipe and We're smoke We're creating, Laura. man. Joaquin says, hi, Jen and Mike. Jen, my wife, Jeannie, just published her first book and is working on her second one. Will they do well? Really could do a whole reading on that. Um, she's got a good work there. It's a good one. Uh, right now, we're kind of in a weird place with publishing and big publishers and things like that. She's really going to have to promote it herself. You're going to have to get out there and be present and get people knowing about it. Yeah, I, I was in Manchester um, with Whitley Strieber and uh, Richard Doty to, to speak. But last October, you guys remember that. And I was sitting there having, I guess, breakfast or lunch with Whitley. And Whitley Strieber is one of the more famous authors on the planet. He's written fiction. He's written nonfiction. He wrote A Wolfen. He wrote The Hunger in terms of novels. He wrote Communion about his alien abduction experiences, so nonfiction, Communion, Transformation, the Visitors, all those novels. And I was telling him a story about my my novel, Lightbringer, which back in 2010, 2011, I, I found an agent. This guy was the, this guy was the vice president of Trident Media, which is the biggest literary agency on the planet. And he said, dude, you're going to sell a million copies of this. This is incredible. It's the next Da Vinci Code. And he sent it out. And and because it was a weird time, they were trying to figure out how they were going to get Kindle or something. Nobody bought it. I got all these great praiseworthy reviews. And I said, this one guy wrote back his rejection was, well, what has this guy got besides a great manuscript? And Whitley like 
what the hell else is the writer supposed to do? So the problem now is that it's not enough just to be a great writer. You, you right. have to also have money and a promotional plan because you have to do everything because the fucking publishers don't want to do it anymore. So and they you don't care be- about your book and what it's about. There's like, who is this person and how are they going to make me money with very little effort from me? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's who they've been taking. So, and it used to be, it used to be that they would recognize your talent and invest in you and promote you. And that's how Dan Brown, you know, became, be, became this big author and how Whitley and guys, but that's not what they do anymore. So take a look at the books they've been thing. putting in Costco, right? Yeah. Who was it that wrote a book and it was like, like, like stacks and stacks in Costco, Obama. These are the people, the cabal has been in control of the major publishing, the news, everything. So, uh, newspapers. So, this is all going to change. It's part of the rollout. Um, It will change, and there will be a lot more opportunity within, I'd probably later year into next year and on for real publishers big publishers, um, the whole structure is going to change and there's going to be a need for books about what has happened and what is coming or how to handle what's coming and all kinds of things. So this is really, and same with movies, same with movies. So, uh, so, um, so hopefully we'll do my, we'll do my year ahead reading with Jen on Monday. Hopefully, uh, I'll have a better year. Hopefully my, my books will finally start to break out and, and sell. The way they should. All right, um, Jen, can I have your hair? Love you. Well, Gloria. then I wouldn't have any. But no. thank you. No. Uh, hello, Jen. Happy birthday, Mike. Hi, Angie. Saw you on there uh, as a contributor to the old Dog Haven fundraiser. Thank you. You contributed to a good cause. Those people are so good, and they they get so many old dogs out of shelters and give them good homes, even if it's just the last couple of years or months of their lives they do a wonderful wonderful job they're one of the best dave turned me on to them dave barra they're they're one of the best uh charities out there guys with the hammer jokes and hope you hope you got good gifts yesterday mike today is my daughter's 23rd birthday well she's an aquarius so she is in great shape mine will be 23 on february 15th my first baby so happy birthday to your daughter. Uh, yeah, Project Veritas also caught a Pfizer executive confessing that they knew that the uh, vaccines were going to be harmful, but they put them out anyway, that kind of thing. So, um, I actually know somebody who works in the industry of approving these kind of things or, or, or uh, making recommendations to do so, and she said the same thing. Uh, but what I think is this this whole vaccine thing is starting to snowball and it's just going to be an avalanche coming down they're not going to be able to hide it um cool yeah um okay so here's an interesting question um i hope mike got a nice rack for his birth well yeah a little bit uh janice wants to know uh, British actor Julian Sands has been missing in our mountains here in Southern California since January 13th. They have stopped the search. Is he dead or has he gone missing for other reasons? Uh, Julian Sands. Do you need a reminder of what he looks like or who he is? No, he was in arachnophobia. Long haired British actor. Long Okay, you guys, stop talking so I can look. Um, where is he? Okay. Jen's mean. She hits me and stuff. I think he's gone. I can't find him. I feel like it happened before the Oops. the old I'm lost in the woods thing. Oh, really? Moth- what? Mafia related. Mafia related? We never send the latest version of tanks for foreign sales. None of them have the upgraded armor package or optical sights. Yeah, the M30, the M, M1 Abrams, it's again, it, it designed in the 70s or 80s. It's a shit tank. 
Yeah, we haven't built a new tank in 40 years. Um, hi, Mike and Jen. Do you see my sister Emily and brother-in-law PJ taking a job on the east side of the state? Well, I'd like to know, Jeannie, Jenny, Jeannie, Jenny. Uh, which state? <laughs> no, I really think that falls through. It's not what it's Good cracked up to be. Pentagon said they don't have any tanks to send to Ukraine and they would have to be manufactured. That shows you how, see what part of what Biden's doing is he's trying to weaken the U S militarily by just basically giving away all of our stuff and having it be destroyed. So that's why I don't know if it was just kind of some sneaky way. Well, to put out a say, signal. Yeah, like, it was, it's done to get Germany to send their leopard tanks to Ukraine, but you know, they only have like 50 leopards either. So it's not going to make any difference against the Russians. So, uh, I don't know. I just don't know who the signal was being sent to. If it was from the white hats to others around the world who can't, they cannot communicate with, um, without being seen. Uh, I know that a lot of these world leaders and people in the know or in the Alliance will look for certain public announcement and get their information from that so i'm stuck on the 31. yeah i'm i'm stuck on that you mean, you mean the 30 for you think it means the 31st so okay. interesting. whether right. that is uh what happens on the 31st i hope it's what we think was going to happen on yeah. the 29th but you know that would be that would be, you know would be close the, enough the, yeah that, that would be that would close be what, enough I'm, does anything Tuesday. ever happen on the weekend no but um, but Tuesday. our 29th is somebody else's Monday, right? 30th. Right, right. And if it starts in the east and moves to the west right. across the world, that would be the ideal thing. Yeah. Awesome show, Mike and Jen. Getting excited. Just wondering where the angels say my wife and I will be on Valentine's Day. James Foster, where will he be on Valentine's Day? At home planning a trip. That's it. Yes, uh, yeah. I felt that one. She's planning a trip. Oh, I we, felt that one at home planning a trip, and then I went yay because I was like, oh, why are they? So is he trying to? I know why. Me? So is she planning Valentine's Day? Maybe she's trying planning. She's trying to sneakily find out where the, where she's going to take him. No, because my wife and I used to do that. Max's wife and I used to do that. We would take every other year. We would take turns planning our anniversary. So. So then our last anniversary, it was my turn, and I planned to be in L.A. in a bar hitting on younger girls, and that was the end of our marriage. So, Sorry, I had a weird noise, but it seems to be a dog on the outside of the office Aww. wagging his tail against the door. You can hear <laughs> like, him. What's the banging? Um, no, you don't get it. The importance of Valentine's Day gets dwarfed by something else. And then... We're at home thinking, screw Valentine's Day. Let's plan something bigger. And I think that's what's happening. Okay. So. Sorry, I'm Snapchatting somebody. Um, okay, Jen, Chester's operation has been moved to the 7th of February. He needs a stress test before. We'll all still be okay. Chester yeah. Packer. Chester Packer. I hate those stress. I did have to do those stress tests once. I was having uh, problems just like seven or eight years ago. And um, they had put me on one of those stress tests. It sucked. I was having like asthma or something because I live in this fucking state. But yeah. Uh, cool. Love you too, Glenn. Love you too, Glenn. Jen, will sleepers wake up when they learn the chicken feed is what's keeping the chickens from laying eggs? Interesting. That could be it too. Where'd you hear that? I'm just hearing that in the rumor mill that they're they're putting shit and stuff in the chicken feed to make the to keep the chickens from laying eggs. I do see some kind of white powder added to stuff, but so that could be it. But uh, you know, in its natural form, you know, no. Um, why would they keep them from laying eggs if they want to put it in there so that we'll eat it? So I, that is part of that that's wrong. Okay. Hi, Jen. Paula here. 
I'm integrating a new dog, Kiba, with my two girls, Elodie and Kismet, this weekend to be part of Parley. Will my two girls accept this new member? Well, if you get Jen, if you hire Jen to talk to them, they probably will. Well, I can't do everything, but yeah, I could try to talk to the dog, but, um... So one of them's fine. One of them's like, yeah, okay. And then the other one's nervous and goes off and sits in the corner. And it's just really nervous. And I think it's a female or something. And I don't know if it's the new dog. Looks almost like a brown dog. Um, it's going to take a few days for them to be able to lay close together and be okay with that. So if you do have one of the doggies that, that goes off in the corner, just pay, pay extra attention to that dog and make sure that she knows she's not being replaced or anything. Yeah, okay. it's kind of like I'm shy, I'm nervous, this person, this dog's new, I don't know what to do, I'm going to sit in the corner by myself. So, Yeah, if you see that behavior, go go get, pay special attention to that dog. Hello, hello, do you see my family and I moving from California to Connecticut this year, five years, never? Money, love, we need a real name. Jen can't ask about money love, or she can, but I don't know how accurate it's going to be. Well, I can't. It's hard to look because I need to make like a energetic connection to that person and look ahead. So I'm just going to ask, okay? Because he knows who you okay. are. Uh, not any time in the next few years. Um, there will be a decision made to move, um, but I think you wait for Connecticut. Okay. Uh, Jen, I am Barbara. Will I still acquire a new place to live in February? Might lead into March, but yeah. Jen, you were right. We are, Debbie Weedy says, uh, you're right. We're finding the stolen items. The robber has sheriffs afraid to go there. Will they be charged? Our town is very afraid of them. Great. Games. Well, the town's afraid Mafia. of them. The They're not going to get into it for something that small. Um, Jen, is my current professional and personal life good with Cecile? Timothy Hanlon would like to know if he and Cecile are good. As good as it can be, Cecile doesn't like most people. Okay, so you're never ever going to be like, I'm solid with Cecile. I don't know how to say that, but as good as it can be right now, Tim. Okay. Um, Jennifer Cleveland Clinic released findings that egg yolks contain a chemical that is causing blood clots in the youth. Why are they risking their reputation? No, it's not true. It's bullshit. They're trying to blame eggs for all the people, kids dying of heart attacks because of the fucking vaccine. Yeah. So it's not true. But, yeah, why are they risking their reputation? Because there's a gun to their head. That's why. Not to, not to be mad at you, Angie. I'm not mad at you. I'm just, the story is so preposterous. Well, I guess there's a good question here, though. Will the public buy this explanation, the majority, or, or will the majority just say, oh, come on? Well, it just depends. You know, you've got percentages of people that believe things, and, and the majority doesn't. They're just like, ah, pff, whatever. And it's going to blow over just like the last uh, chicken shortage blew over and and the fires at the processing plants blew over and all this other stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, Jen, that's all still happening. Trust me. That's... Jen, question for Jen. Um, should my girlfriend Wendy and I stay month to month at our rental home or do a new long-term lease? Well, that's a big decision to base on what I say, you know, and the decisions are always yours. Um, probability of that. Well, I think they're, they're wondering, you I know, believe you stay month to month because of the changes coming and not really knowing what you're going to decide to do. Yeah. Uh, Rick Norman, Jen, I was contacted by my lawyer today. I have a phone hearing April 13th. He said they may just cancel and go ahead and approve my claim early. Do you see anything like that? I assume this is a social security claim, Rick. I think that's what he's asking about. 
Do you see them approving the claim early and just saying, nope, forget the hearing? I think it go to the hearing. It does go to the hearing? Okay. Jen, I lost most, Lori West, I lost most of my taste recently. Doctor thinks it's from recent viral infection like COVID. It's not diagnosed. Awaiting a blood test. Any ideas? Let's see. Lori West. Lori West. I do believe it's from recent COVID infections because it has something to do with your adenoids. Adenoids is what Jesus does. Um, get yourself some of this ivermectin tablets, 12 milligrams. Is that right? Dr. Adenoids? Bro from Dr. Brooks. Yes, adenoids is correct. What's an from adenoid? From Dr. Brooks. Right. An adenoid is a little thing in near your, like your tonsils. You just don't need them. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. Mike, uh, they're up in there somewhere. Uh, Money Love loves my beanie. Well, thank you, Money Love. I, I think I look pretty good with beanies, so I wear them once in a while. That's my hat of choice if I have if I'm not going to bother with my hair and just want to wear a hat, I wear a beanie. Mike, can you have Jen call you with cell phone and put her on speaker of trouble? Continues. Oh, this was earlier when we, yes, we will have that as an alternate plan, but Jen, it only seems like we get into trouble when we start talking about rates, which by the way, fair warning before the end of the show, we're going to talk about rates again. So if you guys are going <laughs> to we'll test off, it out, if you guys are going to knock Jen off. Let's, uh, let's set you up. Yeah. Right? I was talking about the 31st. Right? Yeah. And it was related yeah. to that? Interesting. So clearly I'm being watched. Um, pray for me. Mike, get some good chick pics of college chicks in Roswell. And Will, we know there's going to be millions of them there, or thousands anyway. The question is, can we get them into our UFO conference? I think it has to have something. I think it has to say alien on it. I don't think it can be UFO fest. I think it has to be alien fest. Because chicks dig aliens. It's just the truth. Um, I'll be on the Florida Gulf Coast. Can't make it to Roswell. Well, you suck, Deborah. You should come. Um, Jen, when will commercial supersonic service a la the Concord resume? That's a really interesting question. Are we talking about flights? Yeah, is there going to be new supersonic transports for flying around the world? Not for a few years. Yeah, but it's something that needs to come back for sure. He used to say, oh, we can't do that. It'll upset the deer when the sonic boom happens. Jesus. Jesus, we've gotten stupid. Uh, Jen, I'm 72 with COPD. This is Gran Granny. We need your. We really need your name. Granny's too rotten's. I, I can't work with that. But Jen might not be able to. 72 with COPD. Will any of the new medical equipment help with my breathing? Well, know. it's related to COPD. I can look ahead and see if there's anything coming with that. Um, there'll be something in the fall. It's not necessarily a med bed. I really think that it's a supplement or a pill. You know, the thing it's is, for rapid regeneration of lung tissue. Before we get to the med beds, what I was going to say is there's lots of other medical benefits and cures and things that are out, other treatments that are out there that have been suppressed. We're going to get those first, probably before we get to med bed. So a lot of people's conditions are going to get better. Must be 1111 because my phone just went off and it says 1111. There's my kitty Aurora. Sorry. Go on. There it is. Must be 1111. See Aurora. See how pretty she was. She's so pretty. Uh, Linda Bentley wants to know, will my family trip to Ireland go smoothly in March? I'm concerned because I'm unvaxxed. Yeah, but there might be some kind of delays. So I don't know if we're talking about uh, travel delays because of weather or other things um but prepare for that prepare for an extended stay in an airport should that happen i donated to dave's version of the fund rate of his fundraiser because his fundraiser looked underfunded it is he started it way late i started mine a week ago so uh 
Layla G says, Jen, I found out I am Yaki Indian. Do I have any cool native guides or spiritual gifts from them? That would be something to have to take some more time to look into. Yeah. Bye, Bye. Uncle Ron. Five have seconds. a great day. We love you. Have a great time. Love you, Ron. Oh, my goodness. Have a good time, Ron. Sedona, a.k.a. Mars. Yeah. I don't see Lanny in the chat either. That's kind of weird. Uh, Robert Charles M. with the wrench. You're taking over both channels now, Bob. Let me know. I'll get you on there. Bob's badass. Bob is badass. <laughs> uh, Deborah Thomas has the hammer. Nader Stang. Don't even go through the hammer jokes. I saw some of the funny. Nader All Stang. Right. That's what he was told his follower. He told his followers he would sing when it rolled out. Okay, so he did sing. That was a couple days ago, but I think it was only. I don't think he, I don't think he sang today. He's he's done other videos since then, saying it's not quite. Well, we've got one that sang and one that danced, and now we're waiting for an opera. So if you see an opera, close enough. I think that's yes, yeah, an opera over there. Um, Is he actually going to sing the opera? Who opened the door? Both of them had no free hand. I think Pelosi opened with his left hand. I thought his left hand was free. But uh, I don't know. Right at the crack of dawn. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. You're... That's awesome. <laughs> I thought her house was right on the road. Well, it could be. I, I thought her house was that set back. I could be wrong. But First thing I see, blue tape around windows. Okay. That level of wealth, nothing's left like that. You're not painting a place yourself. They, and they don't just leave it there. You know, they come out, they do the job until completion, and then they get rid of the, the blue tape. You know, it's... Yeah, I, I mean, if no. I have that... If I have that kind of money, I'm living in a gated community, set back from the road... And I have some security too. I, you know, I have. Well, that may be a condo of his, but that's not what they told us on the news now, is it? Yeah. So it's part of this exposure. Like, hey, <clears throat> you know. They show another part of the tape where he supposedly broke the window from the outside. Yeah, he breaks the window from the outside, but all the glass debris is outside as if it was shattered from the inside. So that's the other problem. Um. All right, so we're going to have one singing, one dancing, one opera, and Mark C., somebody said, will be wearing gold. He will be wearing a golden egg T-shirt, yeah. And and our mic will just be gone. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll, just, I'll just do a live stream, and it will just be, a, it'll just be a, a drink at the pool in Vegas, and you'll see bikini-clad girls walking around with a little umbrella, and no. it'll be sitting there. And that'll be yeah. it. All you see. And I'll just stream that for like seven hours. Um, hi, uh, my mom, Joyce Arthur, has a UTI, an abscess of the colon. Wow. Taking antibiotics, will she start feeling better? Jolene would like to know if her mom, Joyce. Okay. Mom, this is going to start. Okay. That's a big. I thing. have heard this too many times over the last few weeks. UTI is all over the place. Um, somebody suggested they think it's from shedding. Or the vaccines. I'm starting to think so. You don't hear that many. Um, all over the place. Um, uh, yeah, antibiotics will help, but something's irritating that area. And if, you know what, though, what could be is if you have a weakened immune system and you normally fight this stuff off, this bacteria that, get, that you're exposed to and stuff, but your body stops doing that, stops doing a good job at that you're probably going to have a UTI. And so this is something else is popping up. It's just, just heart attacks and stuff. It's it's like infections. So, uh, uh, yeah, here we get go her again. on antibiotics. Happy belated birthday to Mike and Dave Bear. Well, it's not too belated. You only missed it by a few hours. So thank you very much for that okay let's pop over maybe we can do a screen share and do rumble 
today. Uh, let's pop over to Rumble and read the questions. Okay, my granddaughters Riley and Dylan's inheritance from their grandparents was stolen by their father, David. Will they ever see any of it? It's not a small amount. It would help if we had your name, but Rylan, Riley and Dylan's inheritance from their grandparents was stolen by their father, David. Will the kids ever see any of it? No. It's a shame. Um, Roel Baum, my stepdaughter passed on Halloween and her father is trying to get custody of her eight year old, eight years old Thomas Smith. Are there messages from her or Jesus that will give him peace? Thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, okay, She's your okay. She made it. She passed over. She is with an older woman and a man. And they are assuring me that she is fine. Um, at this point in time, we would have to spend more time on that. Michelle says, I have a lot of free time right now. Is there a hobby or something you see me doing or getting into? Michelle, pick a hobby yourself. I mean, come on, Michelle, pick a hobby. Uh, I'm, I'm building a, a model of the Starship Enterprise right now. I see yarn. Yeah. I have other Yarn. Okay. Knitting. All right. Uh, Rexpert, I assume this is Rex. Rex says, my friend Mark M. told me last night he has several growths below the belly button. Will will Mark M. be okay? Rex's friend, Mark M., will he be okay? He needs to have them taken out. Yeah. Okay. Pat says that's their house. They live in the city. Okay. That's blue painter's tape on the window, so apparently it just was being, being painted. Uh, the houses are close together on a hill in San Francisco. Okay, so we can we can put that to rest. Uh, hi, this is Carrie. I have sciatica in my right hip, and it suddenly got very severe, and I'm having trouble walking. I'm now on prednisone for nine days. Do you see this clearing up soon? Name? Carrie, C-A-R-Y. Well... This incident, yes, it's going to re be a reoccurring thing. You need to get it, like, really checked out. Um, looks like there's arthritis around the, uh, the hip joint as well. Crusty things. So there's more than uh, one problem. Carrie, Carrie, there's also a great book called Healing Back Pain by Dr. John Sarno. S-A-R-N-O, uh, that talks about sciatica and how to cure it. And it's a great book. I use it, and it uh, it worked great for me. Kubert's mom says, hi, Janet. Celia, there are lots of bad reports about Pfizer. My husband, Mike, and son, Shane, took Moderna. Will they have similar side effects? Well, we've talked about this, right, Jen? They're, not everybody's going to react to these things the same way, right? Because not everybody got the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Long term, those two might see something related to it that's minor. I don't really see any major things going on. But my mother took like four Moderna, even though I begged her not to. Um, so I am kind of personally involved in that one. So, um, but that's what I got. Um, okay. Um, Helene says, I'm driving to Florida tomorrow. A few weeks ago, you felt it was too soon to check out nothing tragic but is it still okay so is it okay for helene to travel to florida tomorrow as of right now helene h-e-l-e-n-e -E -E. well let me let me take a look but you know helene don't make your travel plans and base that on what i say because that you take your safety into your own hands um your safety is your responsibility yeah don't say Jen told me it's okay to go and I got in an accident. You know, we, we don't do that, okay? We don't do that. Um, oh, we don't play that. Let's see. As I, I don't realize any major problems. Jim would like to know if his son Harrison should sell his home now to reduce some of his debts. Let's try to figure something else out to do to wait. 
just a little bit. Nadine Korn would like to know, Jen, do you see us going to Virginia soon to say goodbye to our neighbor, John Haskins? Things are not going well after healing, moving his wife, moving wife to Ohio before he passes. So they, do you see them going to Virginia to visit John Haskins? Does do you see Nadine? They go. They go. Um, Carrie, again, I applied for an appointment for a med bed and have been approved. Do you see me at the appointment soon? Jen, are they doing that? Are they really, is that a real med bed appointment? I hope so for your sake, Carrie. It's but true, but it's not the same thing. It's not the med beds we're talking about. <clears throat> okay, will it help Carrie to go to this Some, med bed? Appointment? Somewhat. But Somewhat. it's not like I'm, I've am i got the med bed and it's going to fix everything. I think this is more of a frequency kind of one that somebody else made. Yeah, I know. I know that those are electric electrical field med beds. Those are interesting or they're they're like all organic material wood and stuff. And they put you in these electric fields and supposedly it do help. All right. We need to get to the giveaways. Okay, uh, one more question. And Kayla says, my friend Elaine and I are part of a class action lawsuit against our former employers over 15 years. Will we be called to testify in a court of law for this lawsuit or is the settlement getting close? I don't think so. I don't see you testifying, no. Okay, giveaway time. What are we doing here, Jen? Okay, so, uh, and I give credit to Ron and all the angels in the... Uh, philosophy chat for coming up with this idea i added to it and told everybody if you donate 100 bucks i'll get all my classes which is a huge deal and so it's just kind of like going around a circle here and we decided because everybody wanted to do, help out a certain person zarmo fudpucker is his screen name i know who they are i've done reading uh healings on them before and i want everybody to know that i saved all the donations so that i could give them away to you and for other people that ask because what i'm going to do for them is just do bi-weekly healings on both of them basically forever um and i can do that because i do what i want so to take them out of the scenario and everybody else can get the free healings that they want so people donated put it in a fund um and i've got i went i put up a post on thursday next week you're gonna want to look on thursday probably i'm probably gonna do it like thursday night late because otherwise it kind of gets buried and we don't get as many people asking yeah. um but there will be a post on the philosophy chat on telegram that will say free healing giveaway post for friday show you comment on there and i choose from that list we actually had so many that I was able basically to choose everybody. <laughs> so we have a lot today. I do have some in reserve. If you have made a donation in the last, I don't know, 24 hours, I'm going to reserve that probably for next week. So we do have some for next week in case people stop giving. But here we go. Zarma Fudpucker is completely taken care of. And I would like to thank first and foremost, Ron, Debbie, Mary, Scott, Jeff, Annette B, uh, Gloria, someone who doesn't want to be named. Thank you. Uh, Deborah, no, Dorothy. Chris, James, Bill, Miss Lynn, Angela, Carrie. Hang on. Carrie, I don't have the readers on. So, like, <laughs> Janet, um, RM, Reed, uh, Marcy, Dale. Some people have been donating their gift cards. Please don't do that. I mean, I, that's okay, but it gets confusing with my record keeping. Um, uh, I'll just like, you know, if you got somebody you want to give a healing to, just, just email me their name and picture, but that gets confusing with this way that I keep records. So, um, Gloria, Priscilla, Lisa, and a few others that, ha uh, donated specific amounts 
and made this possible today. I want to thank all of you for doing that. Here we go. Now, these I'm going to announce your screen names from Telegram, and I want you to, the winners, to email me at jmfalaw at gmail.com. You can go to jenniferfalaw.com, and my email address is there. Um, and that is where you will receive your free healing gift card that you can give out to somebody, or you can use then by sending me name and a picture. Okay, but I'm, you're going to receive the card first just so that I keep track that everybody got what I said they would get. If you don't nail me, you won't get one. So you need to do it. All right. Michelle Deb. Uh, Michelle what? Webb. W-E-B. Okay. Curly Cat. You've won a free healing. Richard. Gregory. Vicky. Just Vicky. Just Steph. S T E F for her mother Janet. Karen with a K last name F L A. Aaron Florida. Rosemary Lima, I'll give you a gift card for your friend. Sandy. Jane Meyer. Capital K, capital M. And I'm going to spell this one, um, um, Amakia, E-M-A-K-I-A. Amakia? Amakia, yeah. Cat B, so capital K-A-T, capital B. Shelly, two L's, E-Y. Sharon. Marge Gates. Marge Dates? Gates, like in um, G G A T E S. I got, I got the cap on, I can't hear. All right. And um we since we had so many, I said if we didn't get enough, I wouldn't I would choose from the chat, but we had a lot. <laughs> Last minute. So we got them. We got them in. I do have some donations uh, reserved to do a few next week. And Mike's got the t-shirt. Um, who are we going to give the t-shirt to? Well, I don't know. I, I've, you know, who wants it? First of all, let us know in the chat. Um, I'm inclined to give it to Stephanie. Um, Stephanie, Jen doesn't do missing stuff very well. My grandma has a gold baby angel necklace my dad made. Is it misplaced in her room or did somebody accidentally throw it away? I, mean, I am not good at that. It, not so at you're all. not good, good at that. But I um, thought I would set that to you. So, uh, but, you know, Stephanie might be a small. This is a ladies medium t-shirt. It says, of course, they're real. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a better version of this graphic and try to get Tom Reed to have a bunch of these in Roswell. To I think you should send it to Regina because that's hilarious. And <laughs> she'll wear it. <laughs> Regina and she'll wear it. Okay, so Regina. Oh, yeah, she'll totally wear it. Regina. So can yeah. you do me a favor, Regina? Can you get get a hold of um, get a hold of Jen? Get me your address, mailing address, and I will drop this in the mail for you. All right, Regina is the winner. Steph, we'll get you. A <laughs> See, I knew she'd love that. She's on it. Yes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the show. I will be back. Jen and I will be back on Monday for the Monday download. Should be pretty interesting. Gentel on Monday. It'll be a Gentel. We should just start calling Gentel Monday. Let's just call it Gentel Monday because that okay. puts all the pressure on you to have Gentel on Monday. And, you know, Gentel Monday, Toxically Masculine Tuesday, Tell the Truth Wednesday, something Thursday, Free Reading Friday. Tonight I will be Free back stuff with Friday. Friday with yeah. friday night fun time um 
with uh, Dr. Brooks and Blake and Candace. We will be having a lot of new stuff to talk about. Thanks to everybody for donating. Thanks to everybody for being here. Thanks to everybody who donated to the Old Dog Haven fundraiser. Thanks to everybody. Go Manchester City. Fuck Arsene Hall. Uh, Cincinnati and Philadelphia are my picks to go to the Super Bowl. We shall see. It'll probably be Kansas City and San Francisco, but uh, then I have to have to root for Kansas City. We love you. Jen loves you. Our dogs and cats all love you. Thank you for being here. Don't forget, you can always help me out by clicking on my love button and sending me love to uh, Cash App, dollar sign Embera33 or Zell Embera33 at MSN.com. Love you. Jen, I'll see you Monday. The rest of you guys, we will see you later tonight. Bye-bye. Bye.